time. You know, whenever a new year passes, people always use that saying, New Year, New Me. <laughs> well, this is what it's all about. For 2021, I kept my New Year's resolutions fairly simple until the last one. I want to try and hit 3 million subscribers. I also want to try and upload at least 300 videos this year, but the last one was one I never mentioned. For over a year, there has been something sitting at the back of my mind which has just been eating away at me more and more. Something I left unfinished that I really did not intend to, and now it's time we put an end to that. Before I say anything else, you already know we're back. All right, now I actually need to sit down to play this, so, you know, cool intro and stuff, but... <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember this music hall so well and the torment it gave me each time. Not this time. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back. I can't believe I'm about to utter these words again. To Undertale. You know, I've left this game for over a year without playing this thing and I honestly wasn't too sure that that many would really want to continue seeing the playthrough until a certain video. The green screen reaction video. I asked you guys if we hit 50,000 likes for that thing, I would actually return to Undertale. That video is well over 55,000 likes and I can somewhat assume that maybe most of those likes came from people wanting to see this playthrough still, which first of all is crazy, but I'm gonna utter this guys, this playthrough is gonna depend entirely on the support this series receives. I don't really know if many people are gonna still wanna watch this thing in 2021. It's been a long time since we last played this. You might be noticing that this video is around about 50 minutes to an hour long, and that is because I'm actually uploading parts one and two into this video too, because it has been such a long time since we played this game that most might not have even seen that. Like, new subscribers might wanna see the genocide, but might not want to check back. I will be combining parts one, two, and also three into this single video. I'll give you guys a stamp as well in the description down below if you want to skip straight to part three if you're caught up with parts one and two. But you know what, guys? I feel like today is finally going to be the day where I can put to rest a boss that I could not beat for over one year. Wait, what? What the hell is going on? Uh, why did Flowey say hi? Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will roll across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. He's smiling. Well, there is one thing, one last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right, I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, and Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all of this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power, I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything, I, I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. Oh my goodness, dude. He's literally given us a pep talk about not playing this game again? But if I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later, Ryan. Hang on. This guy's got me going through fields I shouldn't be feeling right now. Oh, there's that music. Woo! So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Undertale. So many have been asking me to do the genocide run for this game, and it's kind of interesting because it's the exact opposite of what we did in the true pacifist run. If you guys haven't seen that Let's Play, I would suggest clicking the playlist in the description down below. But now, we're gonna change basically everything, guys. We're flipping this game upside upside down. Every character we fight, we take them down. Every single one of the important guys too, they're gonna go down to our wrath. We're gonna get our health up. We're gonna get good weapons and actually use these weapons on all the characters and so with that said, let's get this run through style. Hi. I said run through. I meant play through. Also, did you smash light yet? Come on, it's genocide run guys, you know what to do. All right, so the adventure begins all over again. We land in down in that bed of flowers. We already know most of the mysteries for this game, so how's this gonna change things like how I see it anyway, you know? We'll go through some of the lines again. Howdy, I'm Flowey, Flowey the flower. Hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little Ogni will have to do. See that heart? That is your soul, the very combination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What is LV? Love, of course. You want some, don't you? Don't worry, 
worry, I'll share some with you. What about if we dodge this? What if Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Listen, let me try and avoid them. What does he do? Hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Dude, hold up. Skim them. I've never done this before. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. You messed up, bro. Okay, we dodge him again. Is this right? Because we gotta fight everything, dude. <laughs> you know what's going on here, don't you? Fourth wall breaking. You just wanted to see me suffer. Yeah, we ain't dodging this. Die! There's nothing we can do here until we hold out. Torio, we're calling on you. <laughs> She's taking him out at least for now. Hey, there she is. Oh my gosh. Bro, it's just like hitting me right now. Everything I'm gonna have to do for this playthrough. I've gotta take down Toriel and look the music in her face. I don't know if I've got it in me, guys. What a terrible creature, torturing such a pointless youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. She has no idea, dude. I'm planning literally to just break that forehead straight Oh my goodness me. I mean, we're gonna speed through this, though. Shadow of the Rooms looms above, filling you with determination. It is that wrong kind of determination, though, in this sense, dude. You know what I mean? She has no idea what we have planned. None of them do. Oh my- I gotta- I gotta, like, straighten my head out. I can't believe I'm about to destroy all of the characters I've grown to love in this game. Guys, your like ratings down below will determine how often we do this series, so you already know. So we're gonna fly through this for the most part as well, because we've seen this as said many times. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Yep. This was the original guidance from Toriel, literally giving us that good guide to Really taking us and making sure that we do okay throughout this whole adventure. Second switch, spikes down. Splendid, let's move to the next room. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. As a human living on the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Do we instantly have to show Toril out of the bat? That we are not the person she thinks we are, or the human should I say. She's given us guidance, like, do I already go against what she said? Guys, I'm legit nervous right now. You encounter the dummy, but we fight it. Let's get that critical. Oh my god, it's a one hit. I got nothing from that. That was so pointless. Ah, the dummies are not for fighting. We do not want to hurt anyone, do we? Come now. She's disappointed or- Oh my gosh, her eyebrows. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it? Uh, maybe we can? Maybe we can't, I mean... Yeah, there you go, solve the puzzle. Wait, an enemy? A frog, it attacks you, so we have to fight everything again, dude. Hit him. How much damage? We do 22. Oh my god, you're loving green. This feels so <laughs> on so many levels. Yeah, let's continue. Did she know? She didn't take notice that we just fought a monster. She's gonna completely ignore it. So the spike puzzle here, can we talk to her? This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. So she shows us this layout, and we've seen this so many times. Toral, she's just such a good person, man. She's such a good- Look, she looks concerned with us, you know? I'm- Oh my god, I'm gonna- I'm gonna cry, guys. You have done excellently, my child. However, I do have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. Forgive me for this. I mean, again, we've done this. This is to show our independence. We've got to show independence doing the genocide run, man. We come down here with one thing imprinted in our mind. We're gonna wreck everything that goes down here, dude. No monster seen the light of day. We are fighting our way to freedom. Torio, we already see you behind there. Come out. She knows we see- Wait, hold up. I mean, that's a bit awkward. We audibly heard her dots, right? And there we go. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. Yeah, I'm independent. Yeah, leave me alone. Oh, another fight. A whimsome appeared. We have to fight everything we see then, dude. We've got to do it. Phil's but They're literally a one-hit two. They're so easy to take down. Two XP and two gold. Uh, let me save again. Hang on a second. What level am I? I'm actually level two. Sans ain't gonna- no one's gonna like this, dude. It feels bad to have, have to have done, you know, the gen- or the pacifist first, then you go into the genocide after, because, like, oh man, you make such a good story, and, like, you make friends with these guys, but then we resort to this. Kind of wish we did the bad ending first, and then we got the good one just to finish up with the game. Oh, man, I have no idea. Wait, never went back here. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy. Sure thing. You took a piece of candy. Thank you. Uh, may I take another? Take another candy. You take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. 
I'm the genocide run. Take another one. You took too much too fast. The candy spills onto the floor. What about now if we look at it? Look at what you've done. This game... Guys, this game is making me feel like such a bad person. <laughs> oh, I'll set my game up. I'm getting out of here. Toriel's calling this. Hello, this is Toriel. For no particular reason, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell me. Is it cinnamon? No, it's not. Oh, I, I see. Well, thank you. Goodbye for now. She puts the phone down. She's trying to do good by us too. Hello? Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found us on your plate? Right, right. I, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Goodbye. All right, let's get this puzzle done then, so we know what to do here. Let's get this done. Another fight. It's just a whimsum. They're very weak, dude. I can take it down literally by messing up. They're that... Oh my god. This is this is terrible, guys. You do not have any allergies, do you? Bro, I'm about to slay you. Can you stop talking? Wait, did I just... Yo, I just nailed that puzzle first try. What? I had no idea, guys. Um, all right, I guess we'll keep moving through. Parafrog is up towards. Listen, I'm sorry, guys. You get in my personal space. I gotta take you down. Wait, me? What do you meow for? Dang, I don't know what that's all about, dude. All right, we'll take out the remaining one. That's it. You won six exp and four gold. It's not even that much, you know. We're barely getting anything from fighting these monsters. Well, there, partner. Who said you could push me? Out? Move, then, dude. Wait, just says determination. Okay. okay, let me save the- Wait, that's a lot different. Usually you get like the quirky quotes about, you know, the mouse with the cheese. Wait, he's already gone. We didn't even have to fight Napstablook this time, or Napstablook, whatever his name is. Hold on, let me try and get him one more battle. Maybe there'll be a difference that we can see here a bit more so. Okay. Hold up. The song is different too- Ooh, okay. You know, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get this in my first playthrough, but at the same time, I now understand exactly what I gotta do, so all these future zones, woo, it's gonna be kind of surprising, man. So, the battle again, but nobody can- It's because everyone's already eliminated, so, all right, that's the formula right now. We have to beat every single person in each zone. Now, I'm kind of curious, though. What about if we hop down here? Will the, uh, like, radish or whatever is- He's gone, because nobody is here anymore. This is kind of weird, dude. It's a strange sense of power that I'm not sure I'm digging right now, but I guess we'll have to get used to it. This is the genocide run after all. Anyway, yeah, let's skip back to the normal playthrough by this point, okay? Ooh, hold up. There's a dagger. You found the toy knife. Have we ever found that before? Did I have space in my inventory for that? Let me just see. Item, I do have the toy knife. All right, guys, we skipped through most of that anyway. We're going over tutorial. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Yo, she's calling me. I'm about eight foot from her though. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive, but still, I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Uh, uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Oh man, let me just save. Yo. Wait, hold up. I have to fight Toriel soon, don't I, to actually get through the gate and go to the other world. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So, I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise. Oh, Toriel! This is it! My eyes are literally tearing up, guys. A room of your own. I hope you like it. How can I do this to a character that... Oh my god. This is gonna take a while, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, she laid this room out so neatly. I can turn the light off, turn it back. Hold up, guys, let me just... This music got me thinking about the pacifist run and how good things ended. And now I'm about to just destroy everything I ever built. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Okay, sweet dreams. Can you please stop being such a nice character, Toriel? Please. Please stop being- <laughs> This is not making it easier. Let's just get this nap out of the way, guys, you know? I wish I could just dive in face down, fall asleep, and look at that. She gives us the butterscotch pie. You found a slice of the cinnamon pie. Thanks, Toriel. Appreciate that. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone around here. I shouldn't have spoke to a dude. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, uh, did you want something? W what is it? When can I go home? What? Th this, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Yeah. 
Well, bother me if you need anything else. Okay, I asked about the ruins. Look how fast her mouth is moving, by the way, dude. I have to do something. Stay here. We ain't staying here, Toriel. Let's follow her. Can we follow her, maybe? No, she's gone. She's probably gone to a room or something, right? Kind of curious. Is this her room here? It is. She's not there, though. Uh, just a regular old bucket of snails. Yeah, read the diary, dude. It's Toro's diary. Read the circle passage. You read it. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeding- That's a throwback, right? Because Sans and her used to, like, knock on the door and tell jokes between each other. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. So she was writing jokes to share with Sans. Ah, uh, this is not helping with this route. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No. Nope. Yeah, skip that, Toriel. We're here for one thing and one thing only. We've got blood on our mind, unfortunately. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Nope. We ain't doing it. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Yeah, maybe. We've got to keep going, though. Do you want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. This time, man, we got to do it the way we don't want to. Toro blocks the way. I think I'm ready for this, guys, as much as I'm ever going to be. We fight Toriel. Let's go. This is a good hit. 31 damage. She's got a lot of health. Whoa, whoa. Yo, whoa, yo. Holy crap. Now, this is going to be difficult. I didn't realize this was going to be this challenging. Uh, I guess we keep doing this. Slice down the middle again. 29 damage. We got to get as many of these as we can. Whoa, she fights pretty darn good. I knew this was going to be the case. So, like, these characters are a lot stronger. Toro looks through you. Hit again. Arrgh! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, man. I am so freaking sorry, dude. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she looks through us again. All right, let's keep fighting. Take the hit, just let me through, Toriel. I don't want to do this. Stands to think that you want it though, you know? The freak is wrong with you, huh? Thought you was the good person. Now you're out here trying to kill me. All right, monster candy again, 10 HP. She prepared a special attack, this one said. Ooh, ooh, man, okay. Better, better, we've got eight HP left. Come on, direct hit, that's good. 29 damage there, two thirds of the health down. Ooh, through the middle, through the middle. Okay, try and dodge these. Nice. Let's do this again. I'm so sorry. Oh. You are stronger than I thought. Guys, I'm literally tearing up from this. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door. Keep talking, keep talking. Keep walking as far as you can. Eventually. You will reach an exit. Oh my god, she's crying, dude. Asgore! Do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? My child, please don't die. What the heck? How'd I hit it for so much? What? You really hate me that much? Okay, we're coming back in for this one, guys. This is the genocide run. Now, I see you. I was protecting by keeping you here. Oh, man. This is completely different. Not you, but them. Ha! Ha! Oh my gosh. And she's gone just like that. Now you guys probably saw the first reaction, but I wanted to show the genocide route there. That was completely different. That was a lot more barbaric and the damage we inflicted was crazy. Ha! You're not really human, are you? No, you're empty inside, just like me. In fact, you're Ryan, right? We're still inseparable after all these years. Listen, I have a plan to become all powerful. Even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world. Everyone. Everything in these worthless memories. Let's turn them all to mm, dust! That's a wonderful idea! He talks! Again, we're still going with the genocide route here, guys. This is the second playthrough, as you can probably tell. But I wonder if there'll be any differences. If not, it's going to cut back to the normal route now. Okay, keep walking, keep walking. Getting through the woods, guys. we got to make it to Snowden. Oh, my gosh. 
This game sucks. Bro, wait, was someone back there? I think I just saw someone in the shadows right there. I'm not sure if I did. Hmm. Maybe things won't change at least at the moment. Wait. It is. It's sand's coming up again. So we're going to get this talk out of the way. I mean, I can't believe we've even got to fight this dude down the line. And yes, I know this battle is extremely difficult with him. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Let's do it. But we already know what happens as a result. Shake the hand, dude. Shake. The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bar too wide to stop anyone. Yep. Very clever. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. We'll get at least this part done, guys. I want to re-experience this one more time. Here he comes. So, bro. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puddles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp? It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time to look for that. What if a human comes through here? All right, guys, we skipped over most of that because we've read it before. So the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, right? Wait. This is different too. So now we're being guided. It says 16 left. The music as well is a little bit slower. So my guess is that that's 16. Let's take a fight at these monsters. Just a snow drake here, so we'll take him down. Now let's see what happens. See, you won 22 XP, 18 gold. So if I go over and save again, it updates. Now it only says 15. I guess we can probably find these around here too. Wait, hold up. Is your refrigerator running? Uh, I mean, I might say no just so I can get the punchline because I know what he's about to say right now. I mean, uh, let's say no. Okay, I I'll send someone. Oh, thanks for letting me know. Good communication is important. Click. Okay, so guys, I'm wearing the glasses now so you can tell the difference between the genocide and the other run. Uh, that's about all we need to do. There's like five left. I think you have to do that so long as you get all these guys out of the way before you fight at Snowden. But I don't want to kill everyone too quickly. Otherwise, it's going to ruin like all of the other encounters I have with other beasts that you can get more stuff from, I think. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I would make sure it never moves again. Doggo block. Oh no, 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 no. No! Don't move an inch! Okay, literally don't move. Now that I know how to dodge them. Dude, it's such an easy battle. Why do you have to yelp? I'm a monster. I am an absolute... Well, I mean, he used to, you know, smoke these anyway, so we probably didn't have long left, but you know. All right, so I think now the puzzle elements with this game really start to begin. There's not really much more we can do other than just crack on with this. Uh, we've seen this many a times. Wait, I never went up here. Okay. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you could please be so kind, traveler. Uh, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Wait, if I take that, he's, he's destroyed. I mean, I'm doing the genocide route. Yes? Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. All right, what does he say now? How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. Wait, is he even gonna know that? It, it doesn't matter, guys. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, my. What are you doing? Soon there won't be any of me left. You got the snowman. <gasps> no way, bro. Do we have to do it to this guy, too? Drop this. This is so mean. Um, stop, please. You got the snowman. No, 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 no. Oh, man, this is. It's a snowman, god dang it. Oh, my god, you put the snowman. You gave it a little pat. A useless part of <laughs> I'm such a bad person. Ah! So yeah, that's the difference we did with that there, guys. Oh, man. All right, now another difference here is that the guy isn't in the top corner who sells the uh, snow stuff typically. I think it's on this screen. Ah, oh, this is interesting. We know about the whole his and hers thing. Anything else changed around here? All right, so now what about the... Wait, you have to fight these guys up here too. His and her... Oh, no, that's so cute. That's so cute, but we have to fight them. Wait, the dogs, don't we encounter them from this point here? If we go, no, wait, it's over the top, perhaps? I really can't remember, guys. I know that there's a treasure like here somewhere. There's a switch hidden in the snow. We'll click it. That saves us a lot of time then. So you really can cut through a lot of the puzzles. Yeah, this is it. This is where the dogs come across, right? Here they are. This is the his and hers. These guys are sweethearts, but we have to do it. What's that smell? What's that smell? If you're a smell, identify yourself. I think it said. Yeah, you guys are dead, by the way. All right, here we go. Doggy assaults you. We gotta do it, guys. I can't believe this. Oh, that sucks so much. Take my wife's fleas. Don't actually. Okay, now I remember this attack used to trip me out. 
Okay, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Then maybe you hop back through the center at that point. Okay, let's try this one one more time. There's another attack. Okay, so it's right here. Then we dip down. And then maybe we jump back. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. The dogs are reevaluating your smell. Yeah, well, you better reevaluate your life because you haven't got one no more. Let's just finish this as quick as we can. There you go. You won 60 XP and 50 gold. We are the worst person in the world. We really are. All right, guys, we'll finish off the rest of these puzzles then. Uh, I don't think it should take too long, but it's all stuff we've seen before. So is this snowed in yet? Maybe it's not quite. Oh, no, there's a few more things we have to do. Yeah, Sans is here. What's he want to say? What's up? None of your business, bro. Oh, no, the little dog here, right? In the last mound of snow. Here. Oh, no. We have to even fight him? Come on, buddy. Hurry up with this. Let's just get this started, okay? That doesn't make it easier. That really doesn't make it easier. Neither does your armor. Oh, God. It's the greater dog. Take this! Is that a good shot? That did nearly half damage, dude. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold still. There you go. Great dog is waiting for your command. Ah, uh, die! I guess that's my command. Sorry, that has to be my command. It is a little bit of barking. That's fine, that's fine. No problem. And then we just finished the job. No hits. You won. AXP 60 gold, your love increased. My heart is breaking right now at this thing. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. The hold the gauntlet of deadly terror. Yeah, we've seen this many a times before, bro. Does not work. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, and blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tedious chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Let's go then, huh? So... Uh Yep. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I, I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, they're probably going to walk through it! And it won't be any fun at all! So this human thing was a bust, huh? Well, I mean, I'm excited to capture them, so I'll become a famous rogue guardsman! But all the time I put into these puzzles, it's kind of like throwing a birthday party. Without traps and fire? Exactly! It's pointless! Maybe you were right to be lazy about puzzles. Me? Right about something? Really? Yeah! W what am I saying? You're so completely wrong! I just have the raw audience! Think about how much fun Undyne would have here! Flames, violence, it's right up her alley! So I won't waste this puzzle on you! I just have to appreciate the friend I already have! Yep, so there we go. Yeah, everything was different, guys. Like, there were no puzzles at all. I was just walking through them. A valuable life lesson. <laughs> and he's gone. How incredible. Hmm, guess we didn't need your help to have a good time after all. Say, I've been thinking. Seems you're gonna find my brother pretty soon. Here's some friendly advice. If you keep going the way you are now, you're gonna have a bad time. Yo. That changed up. Oh, Sansa's giving us the cold shoulder, man. Notice how the music cuts, guys. We're back to genocide right now. I may as well show the rest of this playthrough as genocide. Uh, I think I have about three enemies left to fight, so I'm going to try and find them before I do anything else. Okay, guys, we came back to the starting area where we was encountering most of the monsters. We've got one left. One single monster before. Basically, I guess we're done with this zone too. That would mean that the uh, ruins and also Snowden, all of the monsters are cleared out. And I wonder if that will change, like, what we see inside of Snowden. We saw last time that the were no like of the, I think they were called froggets or something like that. Probably messed their name up. But the guys that usually give us like the tips, none of them were there before. Uh, and I guess that's because nobody came, right? Because we go ahead and eliminate them all. I wonder what's gonna happen to the music in this section here. I feel like I may as well, for the most part, just include this uh, second run as opposed to the first part because everything felt roughly the same and there are differences already I'm noticing. This is it! Woo! Chill Drake saunters up. All right, let's finish off Chill Drake. Sorry, bud. Gotta do this. No bedtime, only dead time. For you. Okay, let's hide this one out in this bottom corner here. Seems to be the safe spot. So this is it here. Final slice. How is this about to change up? You won 20 XP, 18 gold. So, hold up. Determination. That's it, right? I guess that means we're pretty much done with this whole zone. Now let's go back over to... Wait, hold up. So we encounter things. Yeah. The same music comes in again. The determination. The wrong kind granted... Let's make it back then. Uh, so I want to see if Snowden's changed like on the surface. We won't do too much investigating. I do want to save that for the next. Also, how is that character fighting nobody? All right, let's go to Snowden. Ooh, same atmosphere. Look at this, dude. I'm, I guess I'm going to save my game here, guys. Just says determination again. Let's do it. 
Guys, well, welcome to Snowden up with a completely different soundtrack. This one sounded a lot more dismal, not really fitting the vibes of this beautiful, snowy covered town, and also this view over here. You see that? Now, if you guys didn't see the last episode, first of all, apologies that it was a little bit of a disaster. I think I accidentally did the neutral route and then it went back over it and then did the genocide route just to make sure we're on track. But to finish the episode, we entered Snowden. Here we are, guys, in this very very quiet town. Looks like, Aye. wait, is no one nearby? Or are they just like in the houses? And, Good evening. Wait, the kid's here. Hold up, let's talk to him. Yo, everyone ran away and hid somewhere. Man, adults can be so dumb sometimes. <laughs> Don't they know we've got Undyne to protect us? Yeah, kid, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kill you, by the way. So if everyone's hiding, let me check out the various places and maybe we can... But nobody came. Oh, hold up. Nothing costs anything at all? What the freak? We've got health items, we've got the manly bandana, tough club. So wait, I can just take these. Hang on a second. I can just take the items whenever I want. What the freak? Steal? You took- Oh my gosh! Should have I done that? 758 G. Read. There's a note here. Please don't hurt my family. Ah. Oh man. This is very different than before. Let me, uh, let me save that real quick. Let me check out the inn. Still the little kid's right there. Let me see. It's merely a decoy. What? The kid isn't even real. Can we go behind the counter? We can't. What about the book? Let's see. Ooh, we can't read the book. What about if we- Okay, we can't go upstairs either. And that's an interesting shot right there in the back. I've just realized that the painting is of the ending scene, I think, just when you leave the cave. Maybe, anyway. Okay, so we're gonna leave this. Let's keep walking through here. How about this house? Can't knock on the door. What about these presents? We're about to steal them? Nothing for you. Dang, all right, Santa Claus. Let's use the box, though, so we can put a lot of this away, because I guess we don't really need it, at least at the moment. Put away the spider donuts. We don't need the stick. Uh, we'll hang on to, I guess, both of these. Or we can put them away, because if we go back out, we go into the shop, we can just take as many cinnamon buns as we want. Uh, a bicycle, is that? He was 11 XP times two, eat it twice. I'll take one of those. Take the manly bandana and also the tough glove. Okay, fortunately, it seems like they got a lot in stock, so we'll leave that one there. Gosh, this feels so bad. So if I put on the manly bandana, we'll use that. We equipped it. We should have, I think, some strength up. Now, let me see one more thing here. Our attack is 14 plus three with the toy knife. What about if we equip the tough glove here? So we've equipped that. Let's now see our stats real quick. Yes! Okay, plus five, so the tough glove is the better item here. We'll put the toy knife away for now because we ain't gonna be needing that. Now, let's take a look through this town. We know that the young kid's still around. He's relying definitely on Undyne. And you're gonna need to, buddy, because, you know, I'm, I'm just saying. How about grill bees? Still got the atmosphere. Minus every single person here. The jukebox is broken. Even the drunk dude's going away. And the dog playing poker against himself once they gave up. You can't go through the fire exit because you're not made of... <laughs> We're out here, bro. I'm done. How about we explore this area of the town? No, even the ladybug who wanted to just play like monsters and humans is gone. No answer. No way. What about the ice tower? Even he was too timid to do his job. This is changing up so much. It's kind of crazy, man. How about the library bee? No one here again. Any books that we can read? Can't read that. Some unfinished book. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Aye. Uh, wait, what? Can we use the ladder for anything? Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monsters' souls are made of, but the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. How about Papyrus's crib? The letters. It's a mailbox overflown with unread junk mail, and this is a mailbox labeled Papyrus. Look inside. Sure thing. It's empty. Dang. Can we go through here? The door is locked up. As for this little shack right here, which would have been our containment, it's locked from the inside, and hopefully we won't have to use that once. Man, the vibe that Snowden had last time versus now is totally different. The only thing we can deal- no, Oh man, it's fight Papyrus. I've just realized what this means already. <sighs> man, I'm not ready for this, but at the same time, we're doing that genocide route. We've gotta be. The silhouette of Papyrus stands there. Out, human! Quit moving while I'm talking to you! I, the Great Papyrus, have some things to say! First, you're a freaking weirdo! Not only do you not like puzzles, but the way you shamble about from place to place, the way your hands are always covered in dusty powder, it feels like your life is going down a dangerous path. However, I, Papyrus, see great potential within you! Everyone can be a great person if they try, and me, I hardly have to try at all! <laughs> We're still going up. Hey, quit moving! This is exactly what I'm talking about. Human, I think you are in need of guidance. Someone needs to keep you on the straight and narrow. But worry not, I, Papyrus, will gladly be your friend and tutor. I will turn your life right around. Right around. Is she still walking? Oh my god, I see you approaching. Are you offering a hug of acceptance? Wowie, my lessons are already working. I, Papyrus, welcome you with open arms. Yes, we, are, we welcome you with a, a weapon. Papyrus is sparing. No, no, no way. Hold up. 
Oh my god! He's, uh, he won't even fight us. He's trying to convince us right now to not do this, but Papyrus, I'm so sorry. Press Z. Wait, I missed. Uh, he's still sparing us, so let's try this again. Press Z. His head pops off. Oh, wow, that, that's not what I expect. He's dead just like... No! But... Still, I, I believe in you. You can do a little better, even if you don't think so. I, I promise. Don't fade out. Don't Thanos me. Just stay... <laughs> Guys. I feel like a monster. I, I mean, this is what the game is meant to make you feel like. You see, like... There is no music for this sequence, and so that's how we leave it. <sighs> it's like the game, for every decision you make, it really lets it kind of sink into your head what's going on. Hold up, little dude here, let's talk again. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I won't get out, just say it before. 18 left. Let's save. So I think we have to find all of the monsters uh, before we encounter Undyne. So we're probably gonna do some like looking around this place, try and find the enemies we need. And then from there on out, that's how we get this done. I swore I saw something behind the rushing water. I don't think I ever found that uh, echo flower before. So what, just behind here? Is it like a secret? Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. <gasps> that's interesting. Alphys would be setting those up as well, okay? Alphys is always watching what we're doing, so she's obviously kitted the whole place out with cameras, and that is proof that she's studying us. And that kind of leaves me a bit curious as to what's going to happen once we encounter her, right? Okay, so we see her for the first time. But I don't think it matters until we actually show down with her. Let's see. She's up top, glaring down. And I'm oh crap, dude, we moved a bit too much. Will this be different though? Oh, she ain't happy. Let's see. Spear in hand, she's ready. Oh gosh. Don't do it. Oh wait, she just doesn't she? I can't remember. Uh, I guess because I didn't move. She backs up. And she's gone. Just like that with the eye fading out last, man. We'll be on watch, guys. Undyne is here. Okay, the kid's here with us too. Ah, uh, you can slow down. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That, that was awesome. I'm so jealous. She was just standing there waiting forever. And then just, like, come on. Let's go watch her beat some bad guys. How about face failing, kid? 18 left. Save. The music difference. So I guess from this point on, this is where we gotta try and figure stuff out. Okay, teaching us all about how, what these things are. When they align, they create the pattern. So here we go then, guys. We're gonna start trying to find some monsters to slay, unfortunately, 18 within this zone. You know, I don't think you can actually- Okay, that beats my question. I was gonna say you probably can't. Let's uh, start fighting these guys straight out of the bat. Zed, what is this? It's like a new attack form, so I gotta be ready for that. All right, dodge these. Let's try this then. So, Z this time. Here we go, hit in the middle, and press it. Wait, we can punch multiple times. That's interesting. Is that maybe to do with the item we have equipped, like the tough glove? Did it sound like we're kind of like slapping? Try it again, so right there. 63, I guess so. It's 52 XP and 25 gold. So we can find enemies here. This is what we gotta do then. Now, something I'm kind of curious about. What about if we throw the uh, seeds like there? Cause they can drift over slightly off screen. Oh wait, they kind of stopped right there. That's interesting. Maybe there's a way we can get across. I'll put the rest of these down. Uh, there we go. So they drift on over. Let's see. We can walk along it regardless, so let's do that. There was a secret way with another echo flower? What does this one say? I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Hmm. And there's a bench here. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Bro, you got the abandoned quiche. It's abandoned no longer. Let's go, friend. Wait, wait, wait. The flower's already laid out there. Uh, that's interesting. So we can just cross without even having to do really anything. What's this bell here? Wait, that resets the uh, flowers right if I remember correct. So again, nothing of use. Okay, let's move up a little bit, guys. We have 12 remaining. Uh, the echo flowers, though. Okay, strangely so- Whoa, that's kind of interesting. How about this one here? It's strangely- Oh, man, this is straight up giving me fuzzes because no one had a chance to speak to the echo flowers, right? My eyes are like worn from this game, bro. This is great. Okay, so let's get used to this attack a bit more. There you go, 67 damage, nearly done. Woo! Okay, I hate this attack, but I gotta get used to it, man, because Undyne, she has zero mercy when it comes to this one. So, what about the telescope? Hang on a second. Look through it. Do we get the blue circle around our eye as well from Sans? Okay, check the wall. That's all it says here. Nothing more. 
Ooh, we gotta think as well. Sans was telling us as well that we're gonna have a real bad time if we take down his bro, and we still did, willingly and also knowingly. But what about this? Nothing there? But the walls, do they change up? Ancient writing covers the walls, you can just about make out the words. The war of the humans and monsters. So this is the story we've read before. Let's check it out one more time. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside of the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. And also, you know, there's something unsettling about our personality for this place and we're killing everything! Alright, so I think we encounter Undyne right here. But this doesn't matter. We have time. Woo! Alright, let's go, man. Let's see how good our dodge work can be. Woo! Okay, that one hit me. Oh my god! <laughs> Still, just as intense. Dude, that was a direct hit. That was all on me right there. Okay, so run here. Then we dip up. Okay, stick towards the top. And now dip down. No chance, no chance. This dodge work is poor, but it's all right. We got the health to somewhat deal with this. Okay, duck down there. There you go. Woo! Now duck down here. There you go. Now you're getting this dodge work down. Up. And we made it across the screen. She's still going though, right? She throws a few more. Woo! That was close. That was real close. Then we wait out. Again, another encounter with Undyne. Let's see, does the same situation happen? Wait for it. She knows someone's there! Let's see. Hey! <laughs> Even the kid! Still being in spot right there. She grabbing him by the eyelid though, I just realized dude, the eyeball. She marches on back out. She knows nothing more is there. And we get out too. The kid gonna come out? Here he comes! Thanks bud. He had my back, even though I'm slaying all you monsters. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you so unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. <sighs> His face is literally like a mashed potato. It's strangely silent. No one has got a chance to make any wishes. 11 left. I'll save that one again. How about this cheese, though? This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Yeah, good luck, mouse. He's in there. Okay, so we're gonna take down him. We'll at least let him roam these lands. See this, it's an odd looking telescope. That it is. Now, is this the other shop? Wait, where is this? I'm trying to remember all these zones. The Asian glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Wait, what the freak? A, a, what? It's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty right now. Someone made it in a hurry with all their punch cards, right? Guess it finally came to use. Now, is this where we find the next set of monsters? I'm gonna walk like this. I, I mean, it seems to work. I think you find enemies quicker this way. Maybe not. Let's take a stroll through this area. You notice how the music is well. Is this different than before? I think it might be. It's like a, a slowed down version of the same song. It's strangely silent. All these flowers have no speech on them at all. No one even took the time to say anything to them. Okay, another battle. Let's see, who do we fight? It's an Aaron. Now, these I think give you pretty good uh, EXP, so it's worth finding as many of these as we can. Okay, dodge the flexing, just like so. Not much movement needed. Maybe a bit more when he speeds up. All right, we'll finish this dude off. Sorry, Aaron. Sorry about that. Okay, let's actually move out of this zone a little bit. Maybe there's a shop nearby that we can loot. I know that seems kind of harsh to say, but that's kind of the mentality I gotta have, guys. We upgrade the weapons as we go through this place, so we'll try it. And also, this sequence here is a lot more lonely without the monster right there, right? In the water. They didn't even greet us. It's these small things that keep adding up now. Sharon hides in a corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Sharon, I'm sorry about this, but meet my fist, okay? Aha, the sequence with the umbrella. Yeah, take an umbrella. Sure thing, we took an umbrella. You know, we're gonna keep going with this, guys. There's a lot of this zone to explore, and I think this is where we encounter again the cool kid, right? Yeah, and this is where we encounter the cool kid. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Guess he's gonna join us? Let's go! Okay, well, even mimicking every small individual movement I make. Look at us in that reflection! Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up! Ha! Huh? Yeah, funny, dude. That's, uh, it's really funny right there. Yeah. Did I ever tell you, by the way, I'm one of the strongest humans out there? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. And that got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She would beat up all the teachers. M maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. It's still, like, slightly tapping into, like, me not doing the genocide, you know? It's like, there's still chances for us to stop. He's running on ahead. What's up, dude? You wanna talk? He's just admiring the view. And he catches back up. Okay. 
from one zone to another. Just keep the umbrella. Or do we get rid of it? Return the umbrella. We'll put it back. We return that good stuff. All right, now he's going to help us hop up here just like so. Ow! Yo, try being a little less rough. Anyway, I'll look for another way through. Later! His face literally looking like a cheese grate has been over it. Seven left. Safe. So there is still more enemies we can encounter. And I think this is what we encounter and dying for a brief bit. But I'm actually doing this because I want to fight some of the later monsters with a bit higher level. Yo, and dying! We're here to say hello! We already know you're here. Shadow on our face. Woo! Okay. Let's see. I wonder if this is going to be more difficult. Yeah, we know what that means. Get over with it. There you go. You missed, by the way. Dingus could have killed us. Chose not to. Moreau! All right. Here we go, though. This was one of the uh, first encounters, though, with Undyne. Pretty intense, too. All right. Dodge down there. Look at this, man. We just keep moving. Wait there. She really trying this time. You see this? I, see. I think we go down this way. Maybe. Woo! Oh, that was close. Okay, keep moving down. Woo! She's getting aggressive. She's throwing down more and more. Okay, wrong way, wrong way. Oh, crap. We gotta go all the way back around. Woo! Back here, back here. Oh, my gosh! I'm dying. Listen, I know you want me dead, but give me a break, okay? I gotta live and learn. Or, you know, something. Come on, come on, come on. This way here, this is good. No, no, no. This ain't good. Keep going down a bit more. Yeah, here we go. This is our way out. This is our way out. Woo! She's really trying to slow us down now. No chance. Zigzagging like a crab, man. Look at this. Look. She's going all out. She's really trying to stop us. No chance. And that's it. We've reached the end of here. This is where we get from the bridge, I guess, down to the bottom. Let's see, where is she? Do we go back? Wait, what happens here again? I've completely forgot. Undyne is gone. Uh, I, wait, hold up. We stop. Do we see Undyne? Oh, yeah. We see Undyne all right. Now, will this sequence be a little bit different? She cut the bridge in half. Similar then to last time. And we take that great fall. Woo! Let's see. Does the character still speak to us? I'm convinced that this character is Alphys. Huh. Is this different? I'm not sure. It sounds like it came from over there. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Ah, are you okay? Here, get up! Ryan? Huh. That's a nice name. My name is... We still never know who that character is who helps us there. It could be Alphys because she, we know that she likes to go in the junkyard, but it also might not be at the same time. I'm not really sure. Let's check the storage unit here. The cooler has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one. Yes. You got the astronaut food. Take another one. You got the astronaut food. Do we have any more space? Doesn't matter. Inventory is all empty. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the... And we already know that Alphys is a big fan of her anime, so that explains that. Seems like a regular training dummy. Did you want to beat it up? Do we do it now, or do we wait to, like, engage in the fight with it? I'm not sure what would be the best way. You know what? We'll leave it. We already know he's going to encounter us now here. Let's try and get some EXP and gold from it. Sucks that we have to be this way. Yeah, we know, buddy. Come on. Let's get this showdown underway. <laughs> Too intimidated? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too, until you came along. Not only did your actions cause them to leave their home, but now all of their neighbors are gone, too. Despicable, despicable, despicable. You are the worst person I've ever truly met. I've never been more mad. Oh, my mannequin levels are going off the charts. Huh? This, this feeling? Eureka? 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 Human, that moment of unbridled emotion allowed me to finally fuse with my body. I'm finally corporeal now, my lifelong dream realized. In return, I guess I won't stomp you. How's that sound? Glad dummy lets you go. Oh my god, bro. You won. I got nothing from that. Oh, can this game stop, dude? My eyes are tearing up again. This is already punishing you for what you do. Yo, I'm dying. Let's see if she's home. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Okay. Guess we're not gonna get a chance to check out our home too much too either, right? Let's see, how about the ghost? Is he still here? Okay, I don't think he is. Let's check. The computer's internet browser is open to music sharing forum. He's not here though. Anyway, it's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. We know all about that. Check the TV. It's a spooky old TV. Most of the buttons are worn away. Though the channel changing buttons look as good as new. Now let's check his fridge, dude. I want that loot. No. no. Oh, he's got no fridge stuff. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's so barren. It is so barren everywhere. No snails even here ready to race. That got my snail moving though, right? So being the genocide route, at least it encouraged my snail to probably win the race and get away. So good on you, bud. At least we did something good here. Now this is the shop. 
He's here. <laughs> so you came here. What a treat. I, love I ain't gonna buy no stuff, dude. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna finish this. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take down, I guess, the last of the monsters. Uh, and then we'll go back and we'll have to loot the shop because then I guess he'll be gone. Here we go. Here's a boss fight. Let's see. A special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you. We actually have to fight them too. There you go. Oh my gosh, 107, 40 XP, 50 gold. Yeah, this is why I kind of wanted to come back here to finish these eliminations. So we get a few more points for what we do, I suppose. And do the glitchy work whilst the pass through here. Here's another fight. Two of the mold smalls. Now, I should have probably fleed these because they don't give you many points at all. Taking them down. What? He barely fought us right there. That was a strange one. Okay. Here we go! It transforms into this thing. Good. We should get some decent XP from this one. Simple attacks to dodge. You ain't hitting me. Give up. Mold big. There you go. Sit down, all right? Be mold laid down. Let's take a stroll through here. Just a little bit. There's a secret path I think we have to find, if I remember correctly. Yeah, here it is. Okay, now way around. Here's another fight. Who is it? Okay, it's a Washu and an Aaron. We should probably fight both of these, I think. Let's start with Aaron this time. It's a good hit. 65 damage. Not bad. You know, I hate the soap attack. I'm really bad at dodging it, to be honest. Towards the middle. Yeah, there you go. So let's finish this guy off first. There we are, that's 68 damage. Now we've just got this final guy to take care of with the most annoying tack, in my opinion. Ah! There we go, that takes care of him. Okay, 104 XP and 50 gold. Sorry guys, I truly, truly am sorry, but also my character is not, you know? This way here. Ooh, we're getting somewhere now. There you go, we're off screen. Yeah, this is the part now with the Temis, I think. So let's see if we make our way over to the first light beacon there. Oh. And we go around. Let's just uh, speed walk to this part, guys. I'm not sure how many battles I've got left before there's zero here. So I should probably get that done before much more. Here's another battle. Let's see. Okay, Mold Big and a Washua. Let's try and take out the Mold Big first. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. 65 damage. Close. Woo! Oh, this is going to be difficult to dodge both at the same time. Man. Hold still. There you go. Okay, we'll take this guy out first then. There we go. Now, taking care of the Washua should be kind of okay. All right. There goes the Washua. 70 damage. That's 98 and 55. Okay, let's hit this beacon real quick. There we go. This isn't our way down then. We've got to get to the Temi village. Or wait, no, that's on the other screen if I remember correct. Hmm, perhaps not. Maybe that's... Hang on, I'm a little confused. Let me try and go through the sequence again. Maybe it's a secret way we've got to find. We've hit the criteria for the zone, but nobody came. Ooh. So, if we really wanted, we could be done here. That's it. Hang on, guys. Let me see the Temi village, if I can find it. Hold on, what about this way here? The Temi village. Where is it? Is it randomized, perhaps, each time round? Let me hit this beacon. I can't see Jack Diddley, dude. Okay, before we go and find the Temi village, I'm actually going to backtrack to the uh, turtle guy. Let's see if he's uh, now given us anything for free, or if he's gone, for that matter. He's still here. Ah, he's still trying to make us buy stuff. I mean, I've got a lot of gold, so... Hmm, wait, I don't even need this stuff. I'm just looking at this. It says negative two in both of those, so yeah, skip this crap. Okay, there's the Temi village! Ooh, someone trying to stop us before we get there. Nope. And they're all gone. What about these notes now? Okay, they're still trying to welcome us, even though there's absolutely no presence here. We'll save the game. There you go, at the Temi village. Tem statue just left. But one peeping, can we talk? Feeling of being watched. They're hiding. Statue of Tim very famous! And we go in the shop. Hoi! So, wait, the guy's still here? That's kind of strange. How come he's here if we um, manage to get past everything, you know? Uh, I mean, the music is kind of trash for this place. Let's see. Do we need anything here? A temp flake, 20G, 1K. You know what? We're gonna uh, we're gonna leave you to it, okay? We'll see you later, boy. Okay, so I think this is roughly where we'll encounter Undyne for the third time. This might be the final time, in fact. If we keep walking to this side, where she will confront us about everything. An echo flower. Hold up. Let's see. Behind you. Ooh, Undyne's still putting her message in that one. Here we go. She's walking up. We know, we know. Dot, dot, dot. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He'll finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back to the suffering and pain that we've endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul or I'll tear it from your body. Now this time, we gotta actually show down. But is the kid gonna show first? Let's see. He is Undyne! I'll help you fight! Yeah! So anyway, yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got the front row seats to her fight! Kid, step to the side. W wait, who's she fighting? The hey! You're not gonna tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> oh 
Oh, man. He's still coming in clutch through this genocide route. Now, that unveils us this pathway here. Let's go. How about these echo flowers? Do they have messages? Strangely silent. As are they all. Yep. Not one of these has a message. Now, I do think that one of these would have had a message in had if you, like, searched further enough. Or rather, far enough, you would have found one. That's interesting, though. So, determination. Let's save. This is it, guys. Once we cross this bridge and encounter, I think, the guy one more time. Oh, crap. is about to break loose. Yo! Don't trip. That's it. Nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. Wait. Do we help him this time? I still want to help the kid. Yo. Undyne told me to stay away from you. She said you, you hurt a lot of people. But, yo, that's not true, right? Yo, why aren't you going to answer me? I, I, what's with the weird expression? Oh. Oh, man. My, my heart's pounding right out of my chest. What would Undyne do? Yo. You, you, you better stop right where you are. Because if you want to hurt anyone else, you, you're going to have to get through me first. No, dude. I gotta fight him. Oh, he was a one shot. He didn't even miss. I'm dying. You, you're hurt. Hurt? It's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave, okay? I'm dying. I, I'll take care of this. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. This is totally different. <laughs> it's just nothing. No, somehow, just one hit. I'm already, already, damn it! Papyrus, Alphys, Asgore, just like that, I, I failed you. Wait, 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 wait. Do we even fight her? No. My body. It feels like at any instant, it'll scatter into a million pieces. But deep, deep in my soul, there's a burning feeling I can't describe. A burning feeling that won't let me die. This isn't just about monsters anymore, is it? If you get past me, you'll you'll destroy all of them, won't you? Monsters, humans, everyone. Everyone's hopes, everyone's dreams, vanquished in an instant. But I won't let you do that. Right now, everyone in the world, I can feel their hearts beating as one. And we all have one goal, to defeat you. Human, no, whatever you are, for the sake of the whole world, Iron Dime will strike you down! Now, or... Oh my gosh, she just, she changed up. You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. The heroine appears. Wait, we just fight like that? I am not ready for this. Oh my gosh, I better be. So let's get going. Undying at the undying. If she ain't about to undie though, or die. Okay, 1200 damage. Now, these dodges are gonna be much more impacting. Get the free camo. Oh my God, dude, I had like a, a hair on my face. That's why I did that. Wind is howling. Guys, this is what I've kind of been hyped for for this game, the trial and error factor, because I want to get better at these attacks, you know, it's going to take time. There we go. All right, at least dodging those. The reverse ones are really going to trip me out. Okay, let's go with this attack in. Zed. Woo! 1300. Right, here we go. Okay, this is about just judging what's coming first, right? Ooh, oh man. Ooh, man. Okay, we got one hit from that one. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's use an item. We should probably use a... Let's see a cinnamon bun. Okay, 20 HP. Not bad at all. Here we go. All right. Ooh, I went straight into that like a moron. It's okay, it's okay. I've got to live and learn these attacks. This is going to get way more... I bet this is, like, super easy on the surface, okay? All right. Fight one more time. Here we go. Another 1,300. Not bad with the damage, at least. Okay, here we go. Stay nice and steady in the middle right there. That's it, that's it. Ooh, no, 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 no. Bad. Bad stuff. Whoa, 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 That multiple trajectory, that's gonna throw me off a lot. Woo! Gotta get used to it, gotta get used to it. 1260, let's go. Yo, look at the rapidness on this. Okay, there's a pattern there. Good. I wonder if the attacks are roughly the same each time too, so you can actually get a strat. Come on! 1302. Here we go. Oh man, dodging way too soon. Oh god, no, no, no. That is gonna literally trip me out beyond belief. I don't know how I'm gonna get used to that whole reverse thing. No, I'm never gonna dodge those ever. <laughs> I'm never gonna get used to that. Okay, astronaut food, 21 HP. This is where it, whoa, what the, what the freak? Yo, how do you avoid? All right, so let's try it. Wait, wait, hold up. This was kind of working though. Uh, I gotta stay like high to the top of the screen. Maybe if I commit to the angle, cause I'm like fluctuating a bit and then I get hit by those spikes. Uh, I think for now I got no choice but to heal up. Only 10? Yo, that's terrible. Okay, so commit. No, no, no. I have. Yep. Yeah, I don't know how we dodge this properly, guys. We like. You look for the nearest opening and then you die. Because I, I don't. Okay. Ooh, look. You kind of. Dude, I'm fine in the openings with this one. Hold up. 
Ooh. Okay. No hits on that whatsoever. Let's go. Hold up. The only attack really I struggle with is the, like, arrow thing where you get a direct where to go. Let's try and get used to this again. Okay, that's... you got to get out of it before it gets way too close, dude. Otherwise, it's a done deal. Oh, my God. Man, I don't feel confident in this. <laughs> now, i got to use something to get my health up. Let's go. Cinnamon bun, 22. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. This is not good. This is not good. I... Yo, I can't get used to this. I'm gonna have to keep, like, healing up in between each time. Oh, God, not again. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Ah! Okay, kind of getting used to that pattern. So, if we see that one again, we can dodge it. She's only half health down, and I'm, I'm struggling really to the point of, like... Oh, God, dude. Okay. What? She's actually giving us somewhat of a chance here. You see that? Oh, my... Undyne, are you okay? You feeling good? Astronaut food again. There's gonna be something, right? Is that right? Hold up. Oh, my gosh. You've got to really... Oh, my... Dude, I have to concentrate so much. I got one hit there. Okay. I think there might be a pattern to these attacks. So like, they always maybe happen in the same way. Oh, now this one. Bro, I can't... I can't understand what's happening. I don't get it. Bro, I don't get this. Uh Four hits. Four hits on that one. I'm gonna have to fight again. I can't just keep avoiding that. I gotta learn it. Otherwise, I'm never gonna get better at this. Let's go ahead and continue, guys. And just like that, we're straight back in. Undyne, you are done. I think we're gonna play this game from this point on because I have forgotten a little bit about this game, guys. I'm gonna be real. Like, I did watch my previous playthrough to this one, but in terms of me remembering what happens now, I don't know. So let me just read this. However, there is a prophecy. I have no idea what that means. All right, but seriously, let's go ahead and do this, man. Now, this is a bridge that will sit in my mind forever. I know exactly what happens the moment we cross this thing. So let's go ahead and do it, huh? Let's take a nice little stroll. No one's gonna butt in. Yo, even after a year, he still wants to say hi. Let's do it. Let's get this whole situation done, man. I don't even remember this kid's name, bro. Let's get the chat, though. He wants to talk about something. So what's been popping up, huh, kid? Yo, Undyne told me to stay away from you. She said you... You hurt a lot of people. But, yo, that's not true, right? Y yo, why didn't you answer me? Uh, and what's with that weird expression? Yeah, you better back up, kid. Oh, oh, man. man my, my heart's pounding right now at my chest. What would Undyne do? Oh, don't be brave, kid. Yo, y you better you better stop right where you are. Because if you, if you want to hurt anyone else, you're going to have to go through me first. Uh, and, <laughs> and we have to fight him straight out the bat. So we do it. The monster kid... We do it, guys! We give him the footwork! But guess what? Someone else takes the hit before him. Undyne! You're- you're hurt! Hurt? It's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave, okay? Undyne, I- I'll take care of this. Get out of here! Is he gonna leave? Very, very slowly. Get out, kid! Come on! I've been waiting for this moment for a long time! Ha! It's nothing. No. Now somehow, with just one hit, I'm already- already- Damn it. Papyrus. Alphys. Asgore. Just like that. I... I failed you. And we think we won, guys, but check this out, okay? She ain't about to go down without a fight. No. My body. It feels like it's splitting apart. Like any instant, I'll scatter into a million pieces. But deep, deep in my soul, there's a burning feeling that I can't describe. A burning feeling that won't let me die. This is it! Oh, man, is it gonna go bad again? This isn't just about monsters anymore, is it? If you get past me, you'll, you'll destroy them all, won't you? Monsters, humans, everyone. Everyone's hopes, everyone's dreams vanquished in an instant. But I won't let you do that. Right now, everyone in the world, I can feel their hearts beating as one. And we all have one goal, to defeat you, human. No, whatever you are, for the sake of the whole world, I and I will strike you down. Guys. This is it, man. We're fighting all over again. <laughs> I'm scared, man. I'm scared. You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. Now, uh, let me take a sip, you know. Wet my whistle just a bit, guys, because this is about to get intense, okay? Let's go. The heroine appears. Oh, heroine. Let's not say it like that, okay? Undying the undying. Get these shots all first in the video. Here we go, guys. Now, I don't remember much of this fight. I'm gonna be real. So, I gotta get this started all the way from the beginning. Ooh. Perfect. Hey! Okay, the wind is howling. Hold on. Maybe I do remember some of this. Another shot, 1281. Let's go, man. All right, now, I remember some of her attacks, but not all. Hey, let's go. We're doing good. Okay, get the hits in. Good shots, 1500. And what you got next, huh? Okay, slow moving. Here we go. One, two. Oh, oh, okay. Now, now it's starting to get bad already. All right, oh. 
That was two shots straight out of the bat. Uh, no, no, take it a bit easy, you know, like a year out of practices. Oh, God. All right, let's keep going, man. We got to get those center shots. None of them were those, but that's how we get more damage in. Ooh, ooh, yeah, she's throwing spears now. Ooh, strange one. Not good, not good. Remember, guys, this is my first run in a long time, and I also got to eat really quick. Let's go with Snow Peace. We get a lot of health back from that. All right, let's go. She's got the next attack going. Now, I think these are kind of easy to dodge. You watch what they do, and just follow the path like so. Look at that. No problem, no problem. No hits on that one. Let's go. More of that, please. All right, center shots. Not bad, not bad. That's the third down. I'll take that for a first try, man. Whoa, whoa, this is random. Bro, why are your arrows lying to me, though? All right, come on. Center shots. At least the last one was a good hit. Ooh. Ooh. God, it goes real quick, guys. I don't remember it being this fast. <laughs> okay, come on. More centers. The last one is what counts. That's nearly a half health down, man. What's the moves here, though? Uh. Oh, yeah. Bro. I'm, wait, am I about to do this first try? No. It won't happen like that. That's dead on half health down, dude. Ooh, this attack sucks. Slow, slow, slow. Just look at where they're going, man. Move at the last minute. Ooh, no hits! Hold up! One, two. Dude, that's a good hit! That's two-thirds down. Wait, no moves until the last moment. Hey, that's that's cheap, that's cheap. Okay, here we go. Look at that, slow movements, guys. It's all right, that's two hits. This is not bad whatsoever for a first attempt. Let's go, one more slow piece. All right, good, good, good. Maxed out HP. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy crap. Bro, we got that, we got that. Oh my... Dude, I might actually do this. No way, no way. Okay, that's two-thirds down. All right, don't freak out. Really, just focus. Gotta be real, guys. Kind of getting sweaty over this one. Two, three. Ooh, two-thirds down. Okay, bro, these attacks are easy. What is happening? I've, like, been mentally preparing for this fight all year long. Bro, hold up. Take that. Dude, are we gonna do this first try? I'm actually kind of suspect right now. What's going down? Okay, concentrate. Here we go. Watch, watch which one's turn color. Okay, one shot. That's not bad. That's not bad, man. Good shot. Bomb. Okay, good. Good. 1,500. Okay. Now, oh, no, not this one. Ooh. This is sketch. This is sketch. Holy crap, bro. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. Holy. Go. Stop. 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 What? One more shot and we're dead, bro. One more shot and we're dead. I'm hungry. I'm real hungry right now. Okay, max HP. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this, man. Come on. Let's try and get no hits on this one. All right. Bro. Okay. Good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We did it. That's exactly what we needed right there. Holy crap. Holy crap. This might happen. This might happen. This might be one of the biggest gamer moments of 2021 for me for a long time if we do. Come on. Don't get hit right now. You can't fail. Probably should have healed. One hit away. Bro, I gotta concentrate right now. Alright. Bro. Okay. This is what it all comes down to right here. This is it. First time trying. Yes! Ah! Oh my god, are you kidding? What? First try, damn it indeed. Guys, that fight took me so much, and we did it already. Damn it! So, even that power, it wasn't enough. <laughs> if you, if you think I'm gonna give up hope, you're wrong. Because I've got my friends behind me. Alphys told me that she would watch me fight you, and if anything went wrong, she would evacuate everyone. By now, she's called Asgore and told him to absorb the six human souls. And with that power, this world looks just like Mountain Bro will live on. I'll be undying. The undying, guys. I've beat undying the undying. I have seriously done what I could not do for over a year. Let's go. Let's go to the next zone, man. Oh, first of all, determination. Oh, you already know. Oh, that save feels sweet, man. Let's go straight into the cave system. So what's next? I, I really don't know. Like, I can't remember, and it kind of makes it exciting for me. Let's see. What is this? Now I remember. Welcome. Oh, what a friendly gesture. You know? Welcome it. Hold up. What's that all about, bro? Uh, hello? I, I need some service. Like, I'm running low on food. Dang it. They must have cleared out, guys. So, look at this. Here we go, man. 
into the furnace zone. Oh, some water. Don't mind if I do. Let's take a sip. It's a water cooler. Take a cup. Sure thing. You take a cup of water. Get rid of the water. No, no. I'm keeping that thing for myself. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. Why are they making cups out of ice? 40 left. And so it begins all again, guys. Now we got to take down 40 different enemies from this zone here. Ooh, you see that? If we can't go that way, it's the laboratory. All right, we'll go greet Alphys in just a sec, guys. First of all, let me get my bearings a bit. So he still remains. Let's take a look. Charala, I am the Riverman. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride my boat. Would you care to join me? Hide in, hop in the boat? Nah, bro. Then perhaps another time. Or perhaps not. It really doesn't matter. All right, let's not go out like that, guys. Let's check out what's going on in the lab. Is Alphys going to still be in here? They were talking about evacuating the thing. Look, we got the monitor tracking us. Let's take a look. It's me, Ryan, the monitor. Here's that, look at that, that computer, all those notes. It's a computer accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles, we'll do it. We got the instant noodles. And I think it's half empty bag of dog food. You just remembered something funny. Good for you. And the robot's here. Oh, there you are, you ugly little creature. You've made quite a name for yourself. Such infamy, I'm impressed. Oh, yes. If you're looking for Alphys, she's not here. While you are busy doing your um, thing, she was running around evacuating people to safety. Now they're in a place where you'll never get to them, deciding not to fight you. My, my, she really is the only smart one, isn't she? We're gonna approach him? Oh, how sassy. You're just itching to get your hands on me, aren't you? Well, too bad. This world needs stars more than it needs corpses. Toodles. And he's gone just like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta remember the names, guys. So that is Metaton. All right, so he is looking around here, but there's no Alphys this time. Like, we get no backstory about the laboratory. We can look around this place. Very eerily quiet, though, in comparison. Looks like Alphys' work table seems dusty. As opposed to here. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap, it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. That's the first hint, then, guys. So that was Metaton. Let's take a look through the wall. We can't. Okay. It's just here to complete the look. Interesting. What about the door here? We can't look. And we can see it's a bathroom sign, and that's it. All right, well, if Alphys isn't here, let's take a quiet leave through the other side of the laboratory. Okay, thank you for closing door. We're back in the hotline though, guys. Back here once again, and we've got to find 40 different monsters to take down, okay? With the music. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, let's go. And here comes the first fight, man. Vulcan strolls in. Vulcan, you are adorable, but my fists, however, need to be quenched with the thirst or... 70 XP and 50 gold. I was actually expecting a fight. I'm feeling like one punch man, you know? Let's see if I go back. Can I find someone else? <sighs> Ooh, no one else wants to fight, huh? You see the power I got behind my feet, yeah? Ooh, they're timid, guys. They're timid. All right, let's check around here a bit more then. Let's start my going up the left path here. Come on, monsters. I'll find you all. The longer you hide, you're just prolonging the inevitable, you know? There ain't no point doing that. Let's see. Uh, wait, maybe they did really clear out. All right, let's keep moving up a bit more then, guys. Got to find these monsters. I can't truly remember as well the uh, different monsters we find around here. 39 left, so a fair few as well. Let's take a look then. Use the bounce pad. Boom. Where are we headed, huh? The next fight. Who's it going to be? It's the sundry plane. It gets in the way, not on purpose or anything. Still, though, you're in the way. So take the fuck, man. <sighs> Don't get it. Bro, it's dropping them bombs. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Hey. Well, this thing's fighting more than Undyne. <laughs> what? His body is smoking. Couple more hits. That plane's taking a crash landing, man. See, I partially joked about the crash landing for effect, but that actually just went down. All right, guys, let's uh, continue on with what we're doing, okay? We can't think about how wrong this is compared to the, the usual route, man. Like, the pacifist thing, it was such a good route, man. But we gotta do what we gotta do, okay? Uh, there's a frying pan lying on the ground here. Will you take it? I mean, you got the burnt pan. I got space in the inventory, so I'll hold on to that for just a second. Let's check out the other way here. Doesn't look like there's much more, to be honest. And we can't go with the current. Let's make our way back. Any monsters want to say hi? Ooh, not looking like it. What about if we go up here? Ooh. There's a monster way in there, so that's fine. The pyro bounds towards you. Now, this is a monster again I can't remember. Let's take a look. How strong are you, fella, huh? Let's see. Okay. Feel the heat. Let's see what you got. You got bombs, huh? Is that what you got? Bro. You ain't gonna hit no one with those. I'm just saying. You wasted your time. He's chuckling through his teeth. Yeah, chuckle through this, buddy. You got no teeth left. And that's the next one done. AXP 40 gold. Feels bad, but also feels like the right thing to do, you know? I don't like it either, guys. I really don't, but we gotta abide by the rules of genocide. It's the way we gotta go down with this thing. Also, are these lasers on? Uh, maybe it's safe to go through. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the, uh... 
the kind-heartedness, I think. Why am I speaking to lasers like they're sentient? What the heck am I doing? Okay, now I'm not sure if, if we go beyond those lasers, it triggers us maybe to move to the next zone. So before we do that, I'm gonna burst on over back. I'm gonna save my game. We'll get back to the lasers and we might go a little bit further on through the hotlands just to see where this place might take us. Maybe it'll be important for us to progress and... Okay, enemy gets in the way. Ooh, two enemies, okay. Sundry plane attacks. Not because it's jealous of Vulcan is paying attention to you. All right, let's take out the Sundry plane first if we can. Three decent shots, that's 80. Dang, in one shot? All right, well, let's go. Ooh, 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 I see you, Moosa. Bro, Fala, calm down. You hit me. A Vulcan hit me. I want to hit you three times back. I gotta do it, I feel bad. All right, let's go, man. Two... Wait, the rare threatening double Davis. Okay, we've got power of A and B. Let's try and take out one. Okay, good damage, good damage. Is it cold in here? Hot enough for you? Look at those different personalities, man. All right, so dodge the bombs as they go. That was a direct hit. I gotta give him that. Good shot, good shot. Okay, let's take out A first of all. We can get the bombs down to just one, like we have right there. Hot enough for you? Bro, your brother is dead. Wait, do I stand still? Oh, God, I moved through them. Ooh. See, I'm remembering, guys, and the blue ones, you stay still. Parv is pretending to pull the fire all out. Yeah, bro, I'm pretending to kick you three times straight in the forehead. Take that, there you go. Feel the heat? You ain't got no heat, dude. You got no heat. Waste of time. Just stop. Just give up. He didn't give up. I, I even gave him a chance, even on the genocide route. He didn't take it. We leveled up too, guys. Your love increased. Yeah, my love of kicking that butt, you know? I absolutely love the jump animation. Like, check this out, guys. You go on that. <laughs> You're always doing that 360. Like, let me try this thing. Hold up. That was sick. Anyway, no more messing around. Who's meeting the fist next? Come on, guys. Show yourselves. You can't hide forever. My fists have got to be quenched to the thirst that they got, man. Here we go. The rare friend in double, and my health did not go up. Uh oh. Well, let's try and take him out. I also gotta figure out if maybe there's some items that we can take around here, because uh, we might need some help as time goes on with this one, guys. This might get increasingly difficult. Ooh. That's got some range. I'm gonna give you guys that one, okay? First one down. There you go. Let's try and get three crits. Ooh, nearly two. 98 damage is pretty good. So most things are like basically a two shot in this world, which is fine. Okay, keep that moving. Straight into the ropes right there, dude. Come on. Wait, hold up. No, we don't wanna act on this guy. Let's keep it simple. Shoot the boot that we got, okay? And there we go. One more enemy down. Get out of here, buddy. All right, let's see how many have we taken down. Even though I don't like that figure still. Still prefer pacifist. Go ahead and save 31 left. You know, let's actually save our game. If we go ahead and progress, um, all we got to do really is just reload the save if we accidentally mess up. So I want to see what is just past the lasers. I'm not sure if I even did see them on in the first place. Kind of interesting, though, if maybe they were and someone turned them off. Let me just uh, examine the button here. So it's a switch. If we press it... The lasers were reactivated. Hmm. Someone seemed to have pressed that. Let's press it one more time. Turn them off. All right. Well, we'll progress on through a little bit more. Aha. It's more of the hotland. So we can keep investigating here. Okay. We don't want to go that way just yet. Let's try and search the left and right of this place. There you go. All right. Who's hanging around here, huh? What? Wait, the laser turned off again. Who's turning all the lasers off? That's kind of interesting. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Oh, I think I remember this one before. So let's actually try and do this thing. Maybe. Wait, can I not do this? Oh, man, it seems like it's locked out. Dang. Well, all right, we'll skip that one. Let's try and go to our right here. I think there might be another puzzle. Is that one also going to be cancelled out for us? Because you see right there... Hold up, let me try. We can't interact with this guy, so shoot the opposing ship. It's the same puzzle. Someone's already beat us to it, and the lasers were being turned off as well. Now, Curiosity's got the bear of me. Let me just go ahead and burst on up this way here. Come on, bro, you're wasting your time. There you go. That's what you want to do. Why is through these double doors here? Aha. Gentlemen, how are we doing? <sighs> you're here. We're going to have to fight these guys. Here we go. So that means Undyne. She's like, Undyne, we'll avenge you. You want to show down the Royal Guard attacks? You shouldn't have. You should have. Let's see how good they are, guys. What? A one! You! Guys, we just took him out in one shot. Bro, your man is dead. Holy crap. I am so sorry. I remember these guys' story. Uh, join him in rest. Uh, you won. This feels wrong on so many levels, dude. This really does. Okay, let's go more. You know, let's, uh, <laughs> let's triple it. Oh, boy. This feels bad, guys. I think I went too far.
Okay, so reloaded the save. You know, I'm gonna work primarily around this point here, then in that case, just gonna find the monsters. Like, I don't know if when we complete the cooking show past that point, there's more hotland. So I think what I'll try and do is get that number to about 25, and then we'll start up from the next episode from there, guys. Like, for this one, I'm on cloud nine. The fact that we've already beat Undyne, the Undying, apparently, like, you try and tell her that now. She's in that eternal rest, man. We took care of her finally. The genocide route is officially back underway, though, guys. Probably until we meet Sans, though. But, you know, we'll pass that point when we get to it. So it's a sundry plane. Well, uh, you know, go to crash landing. Sorry. I'm really not sorry. You deserve that. Two more pie ropes. No problem. We dealt with many of these guys. Let's see what you got this time. You wisened up, huh? Let's see. You've been observing your friends get their butts kicked? Because it don't seem like it. You're missing all your shots, guys. Come on right now. You gotta get that up. <laughs> Hot enough for you? Don't talk, bud. Don't talk. You're gonna die. You're gonna die real soon. You can't even touch me. Can't even touch me. Right, I'll give you that one. You know what? Take your sleep. I'm done with you. All right, guys. This is gonna be the last fight for the video. Now, I believe after these two are taken care of, it's gonna bring us down to just 19 monsters left. So, let's get started with the sundry plane. Get those good shots. And I think... Oh, nearly down in one shot, bro. Okay. That's fine, though. I've kind of mastered the dodging for this game already, man. It's like, uh, okay, as I get hit. Yeah, laugh it up, guys. Laugh it up, okay? I'm watching. Yeah, let's see the Sundry plane laugh that one up, huh? It ain't gonna do it this time. Boom. That's what I like to see. Woo. Okay. We dodged simply the little volcanic eruptions. Let's see if we can take them down in one shot, which we probably can. Woo. We're done here. What are you booing? It's genocide. You wanted this. All right, let's go back one final time. Let's save the game. We've got 19 left after this, guys, but... Dang, what good progress for this first episode, huh? We took care of Undyne first try, and we pretty much know what we're gonna do to further, though. I guess Alphys ran from the laboratory, and the next person we might have to deal with might be Metaton, but I really can't remember, guys. Either way, we might get a bit of a pace on with this series, okay? Up until the point where we take down Sans, because I've seen how difficult that fight is. However, my determination is honestly standing true. I've took care of Undyne, which I didn't think I'd ever be able to, so I can take care of Sans. For now, though, guys, this is where we're gonna leave this here. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode, but we're back, guys, and let's keep this going. If you enjoyed this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.